So here, this question, I, I just solved it. I was thinking about it. Um, you have a line again, and the point Q. Now, they didn't put it there. I did. And it's at the midpoint of this line segment S all the way to R. This is an R right here. Now, R is at negative 2, and S is at negative 10. So if I want to find the midpoint, you add up the two ends, divide by 2, and that's how I found Q. Q is at negative 6. And they want to know, well, how long is PQ? Well, PQ goes from 3 all the way down to negative 6. So I find the difference of these two, and that gives me 9 units. That's why the answer here is 9. Then we have this polygon, and I think when you see an 11-sided polygon, you feel intimidated. It's a shape that's hard to picture. You just picture some kind of roundish octagon with more sides, right? Uh, and they tell you this whole paragraph, but let's break it down. We have three sides, each with a length of x. So we have three x's on this polygon. And then we have six sides, length of 2x. So that's 12x, because 6 times 2x is 12x. And the other two sides add up to 12 and 13. And all together, it says the lengths of the other two sides are 12 and 13, and the perimeter is um, 100 centimeters. So if we add up all the sides, perimeter, that gives us our perimeter. And our perimeter here is 100. So here we get 25. Here we get 25. Oh, 15, excuse me. So 3 plus 12x is 15x's, right? 15x plus 25 equals 100. So I want to know what x is. Subtract 25 on both sides. Then we get 15x, right? Because these equal 0. Here's our 15x equals 75. And x has got to be, well, 5 times 15 is 75. So x is 5. And there's our answer. Okay, so in this problem, we have a symbol that confuses many students. We forget about the vertical lines, which mean absolute value, which means distance from zero, which means a positive number. And notice they give you these two negative numbers. I'm just going to write them as positive numbers because they're absolute values. This right here means 3 times x, or 3 times 7, because the absolute value of negative 7 is positive 7, minus 5 times the absolute value of negative 11, which is 11, so we have 21 minus 55. Now I know that's negative 34, and that's the answer. The way I think about it is, remember, well, if I did 2 minus 3, or 3 minus 2, well, 2 minus 3 is negative 1, 3 minus 2 is 1. I switched the order of the numbers here. In the first case, I had 2 in the front. Now I have 2 back here. And here, in the first case, I had 3 in the second number, and then I put it in the front. When you switch the order of two numbers and you're subtracting, the answers you get have the same absolute value but different signs. So instead of doing 21 minus 55, I might do 55 minus 21 and get positive 34, and then remember to switch it back to negative 34. So here we have the square root of 36, and that means times the square root of 16. The square root of 16 is 4 because 4 times 4 is 16. And the square root of 36 is 6, because 6 times 6 is 36. We're multiplying the 2 to get 24.